Isn't that obvious? I'm plenty friendly. I said, I'm plenty friendly. Don't know. Sigma. No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you... And some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. What do you think this thing is? This bracelet? See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. No. It's just got a three and the word pair. What are you doing? Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. I pressed him, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hey, look! There's something on that screen over there. How are you feeling? I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! A rat? I'm sure you got lots of questions! It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play! Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! Ambidex Audition! There's more to it! Lots more! But if I told you now, that'd be 
be cheating. So, hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. Oh, all right. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? It's gonna fall in a few minutes. Way down. Yes, indeedy. So you'd better get moving. I'll see you later. Have a nice trick. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? die here any more than you. Let's go.
Thank <laughs> you. 
your shoulders. for me to just jump up on your shoulders. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. Quiet. Here we go. Alright, give me your hand. Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. My name is Phi. I guess you could say, I am no man. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. So it would seem. Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? I think we all shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, you've got it right. Yep. Me. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. And you are? Psst. 
say that again. Bastard. Um, are you two... You think? Uh, yeah. Is your bracelet there? Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. A little sharp eye there. Show him yours too, ladies. Right. You figure it out then? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator, but Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... Hmm. Don't got the foggiest idea. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! And the Dex Audition! <laughs> Elevator? He said something about the elevator falling. think we'd have done it last if there was? <laughs> well, give it a shot, why don't you? <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. One's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Why would I lie? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. 
Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door! What do you think Ambidex's room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? <laughs> <sighs> nah, I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. Maybe there's no one in there. <laughs> what makes you so sure? What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Clover! Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? <laughs> I'm... Hmm... Who am I? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please, how are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I... look? You know what I meant, you smartass. Uh... Oh... She's waking up! Clover! Are you okay? Come on, talk to me! Yes. Where are we? What? No. No. 
that can't... Why did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... When I was born... I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. <laughs> Hmm... Maybe I had a really bad breakup? Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Tell you that there's a box here maybe it's some sort of locking thing like the ones next to the elevators I don't think it's a card reader though hey what do you think that is that graffiti over there see on the wall oh yes that I was wondering what that was two milkmen go comedy I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. You heard me. It's an anagram. Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? <laughs> Try. 
true, but you are assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Huh? Look! Over there! Shame on you, Fido! You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it! I've got a plan, you know! I can't just tell you everything at once! Although, things are starting to get exciting! <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. <laughs> Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the... facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you... facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No, it's supposed to be over. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What, what do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine DP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you can't forget. One, the number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically, so be careful. Two, the number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It will close for 
good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Three! Now, maybe some of you are thinking, you're thinking, oh ho! If my VP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough VP open the door! And I'll just slip through when it's open! Well, that's not gonna happen! If you think you can be sneaky, well... Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yeah. Why did you start making rabbit puns? Uh, well, um, <laughs> cause I felt like it. They thought it might make me sound cute. It, uh, never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold Star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in! Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open! Fuck that! We aren't gonna open shit! You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. <laughs> Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well... Bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the Soparil, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the Tubocurarine is injected numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say, it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the Soberil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. <laughs> Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway. All it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have a nice trap! What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. 
Just pay attention, we don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together, they can open up the magenta door. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute rem <laughs> Yeah. Sure. That means Quark and I are getting paired with Luna. I don't have a problem with that. Miss Luna's nice. That's fine with me, too. We'll take the yellow door then, right? That means Clover and I will take the purple door with Tenmyoji. Oh, I wanted to go with Alice. Uh, something wrong with me? Well, no, not wrong. Okay, what is it then? Well, you're really gonna make me say it? You're... old. Wait, what? Why, you... I'll have you know I'm as spry as I was when I was 20. Ten seconds remain. A nine, eight, seven. <sighs> You're getting an earful later, young lady. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Thank <laughs> you.